Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 29th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ, and we had the diamonds and IWM selling off. Diamonds um, almost putting in a bearish engulfing pattern. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. I want to thank everyone for being here today. Thank you so much. And those are, that are supporting the channel with those great comments and sharing the videos, you guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can decide how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, let's take a look here at the Dow. The Dow left behind yesterday a little bit of a concerning candle. Um, but not terrible. It was close to a bearish engulfing candle. Notice that we are reacting to this price resistance in the chart. We've got that downtrend. We've got some price resistance through this level, level right in here. And we were just reacting to those prices. Now, we still remain above our 50-day moving average. Um, here in the Dow. Let's go to the daily, not the weekly. We're holding above that 50-day moving average. So no harm, no foul, even though we did test it yesterday. And this morning we're trying to gap up here in the diamonds just a bit. So watch that carefully. We've got a little bit of bullishness coming in, but we still have quite a little bit of risk that we run into those resistance levels in the chart and see that potential selling. So watch that area pretty carefully. And please keep in mind, one of my favorite shorting patterns in of all time is what we call the blue ice failure pattern. The blue ice failure is when we break the 50, we rally back, and you can cross over the top of that 50 day moving average and still see those sellers come in. And because we're contacting those resistance areas, those are areas that I have to watch pretty carefully is that possible rejection point that we could slip back down. Now, if we can hold above the 50 day moving average, if we can prove to find enough energy and inspiration to hold above the 50 day moving average, we may have to rest here just a little bit, but then we could see those bulls push on through that resistance um, to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. We're kind of um, we're we're kind of on that knife's edge here in the diamonds, trying to make a decision which way we're going to go. Now, if it's up to the spy and the QQQ, which by the way, the spy rallied almost exclusively on big tech stocks yesterday. And uh, we set new record highs here in the SPY. SPY holding up very, very well, showing lots and lots of strength. So there's no fear here in the S&P 500 at this point of failure. And notice that we have some nice support levels. If we were to pull back, we've got some nice support levels that could hold the stock um, um, hold the, the index uh, very strongly. So right now there's no fear here and there's no indication of a sell-off coming anytime soon just yet. Now there is the complication that we are very, very stretched out. Um, valuations are getting extremely high and particularly in that tech sector. Now, when we take a look at tech, we've been on a monster run here in this chart. Very, very strong. Breaking through resistance levels, uh, not looking back, not even taking a break to test supports. So we're stretching out here on tech pretty strongly. And there is starting to be some concern the, of these evaluations um, here in the tech sector. Um, Roche this morning, um, the investor by the name that goes by David Roche, um, he um, has come out and said that he believes that we are in a valuation bubble, that we have pushed these prices too high, 
And he he's beginning to think that it's going to be the Fed that creates the next sell-off. Um, that the Fed will be forced to do something here because of inflation. We even have uh, Mohamed Alarian, um, who is one of the most respected bond guys out there um, in the world, that is saying that, um, in fact, his exact quote, um, he sees growing evidence that the Fed is wrong when it comes to inflation, that he has quite a bit of concerns. Every day I see evidence of inflation not being transitory, and I have a concern the Fed is falling behind, um, and it's going to have to play catch up. And so there is worry um, on his point that we could, the Fed could actually end up creating recession um, and being behind the curve here and having to move too quickly. I don't know if any of that is true, but what I will tell you is that we're very, very stretched here in the tech sector. And with the tech doing the majority of the lifting right now in the SPY and in the Dow, holding up the Dow with Apple and Microsoft, keep an eye right here. If tech starts to sell off, it could be, it could trigger a, a rather painful pullback in the market. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. I'm not saying that it's it's imminent, but we should be prepared for that possibility if that does occur. Let's keep an eye on also on our IWM. Now, IWM had a little bit of selling coming in yesterday. You can see we pulled back from this price resistance high up here. Um, we slammed into that again and we pulled back. Now you can see that was a pretty substantial pullback and honestly this is a evening star pattern and an evening star pattern that's coming directly at resistance highs. But we're trying to gap up this morning here just a little bit um, on that move and notice that we recovered pretty strongly yesterday afternoon as well off of the lows of the day. So let's take a look holding well off of our 50-day moving average we're holding well above support levels in the chart so even if we do pull back there is support that could hold um, IWM um, but we want to keep a close eye on this now not quite as much of a as a knife edge as we would see in the diamonds but IWM is also one of those areas that we're going to want to watch pretty closely so keep an eye on these and then let's take a look at our um, VIX now that VIX continues to yesterday we we rose a little bit we were actually up for a while as the market was rallying but by the end of the day we continued to drift lower here in the VIX notice we're below our 50-day moving average sorry we're below our 50-day moving average we're continuing to fall but one of the things that I'm worried about um, seeing these reports from some of these big investors out there that they believe we are reaching bubble status and they believe that we are running into an inflationary problem that could become severe. Um, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this might be just a little bit of complacency that we're just chasing yield with all of this, uh, just we're being flooded with um, with stimulus from the Federal Reserve and it's all chasing yield of some kind and that we may be becoming just a little bit complacent here in the market. No particular worries just yet, but we want to keep a close eye on this. If the diamonds were, um, were um, to fail that 50-day moving average and the QQQ gets a pullback, watch carefully because that could trigger some pretty heavy selling really fast um, be kind of careful here and that would spike um, vix but for now i think the vix continues to drift lower um, as long as we continue to stay in these upside trends and fear will remain low though maybe just a bit complacent then if we take a look at our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And here's evidence of what I was talking about yesterday, that although we had tech and spy setting new record highs, notice that the majority of stocks were moving down. T2122 said there were less four week new high, new lows. Um, we were setting more new lows. 
um, yesterday with T2122 pulling back. And that was just an indication that it, it really is all tech that is doing the lifting here in the market. So um, we better hope and pray that tech does not pull back because that could be um, a major problem for the market. Now, where we are here in our T2122 is we're in pretty good shape, honestly. We're, we're down here past the middle zone, which says that even if the bears find reason for inspiration, we're going to reach that oversold condition down in here pretty quickly if that were the case. And we also have opened up a very nice upside opportunity. If the bulls can find inspiration, we could push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Now, one thing that was interesting yesterday is that while tech was continuing to push us higher, notice that our market breadth was in decline. We pulled back pretty sharply here yesterday on market breadth. One of those things that also kind of supports that theory that, not theory, but supports what I was saying that tech was virtually on its own yesterday, lifting, uh, lifting the markets. And it was um, primarily big tech that was the tech giants that were doing that. So kind of keep a close eye on that. We continue to uh, drift lower here in our absolute breadth and we can't seem to get a whole lot of inspiration. Now, I don't know what this means because this is a little bit different circumstance than I've seen um, before when we're hitting new record highs, we would expect to see Mark and Brett actually showing lots of strength. Just not the case here. So um, we're just gonna have to be really on our toes and be focused on price action just in case something decides to go the other direction. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that we want to be paying attention to. And, um, well, doggone it. I closed my economic calendar. How about that? Um, economic calendar, we don't have um, major things moving us around today. We've got consumer confidence here at 10 a.m. and we've got the K Schiller. But I think, oh, then we did add in a Fed speaker uh, today, of course. By the way, we do have a couple of Fed speakers starting to hint at some inflationary problems. And if you caught the news today, an ECB member is now, um, uh, European Central Bank, is now starting to suggest of um, uh, cutting back on stimulus. So um, kind of an interesting thing going on around the world here. So watch that close. But not a whole lot here to really move the market a bunch today um, on that earnings calendar. But what we are seeing is we're seeing um, just a tiny little increase in bond buying as we're starting to um, move toward this big um, jobs data that we're going to start hitting this this week. So kind of keep in mind that Wednesday, guys, as you're planning forward, Wednesday will be that bigger day where we're going to get that ADP Chicago PMI, pending home sales, petroleum status, that bigger day where we start into that, the kind of that focus into jobs and see how that plays out uh, for the rest of the week. So just kind of keep that in mind. And our last trading day of the year, or excuse me, of the quarter uh, on tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow. So we could start to see um, end of quarter window dressing starting to pick up. That would mean maybe some bullishness uh, kicking in. So watch these next couple of days. I wouldn't rule out the possibility that window dressing starts picking up here uh, today and tomorrow. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we don't have a whole lot going on. Um, just um, a few companies um, reporting, but it's a bigger day than we've seen here recently. And so we do have some notables here um, to pay attention to. Um, AVAW is a confirmed report. Whoops. AVA. I've written that down wrong. I'll get back to you on that. Um, BNED. BNED um, will be reporting today. Um, keep an eye on that 
and um, watch that closely as it reports. The ticker is AVAV. Um, that's the one that I was looking for. Um, AVAV will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, FDS, FDS, we're going to have a little um, report here. And as you can see, um, kind of an interesting, we dropped and now we're recovering pretty strongly here this morning on that report. So keep an eye on FDS. And then NG, um, we've got some um, gold um, miners reporting today. So keep a close eye on that. But for the most part, very, very small cap, not exactly what you would say, um, particularly notable um, stocks are reporting today as we kind of wind down this quarter. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you don't mind, smash that like button and continue to leave those comments. Um, the more comments, the more um, action um, with the video, the more response to the video, the better um, result. The algorithms will show this um, uh, video to more folks and the channel continues to grow. And also thank you so much to those who are sharing these videos on your social platform and those that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. I truly, truly appreciate it. I just, you guys, um, honestly, um, humble me every day. Now, hopefully you see in these videos, there's something a little bit different than what you might get as a general diet on, um, social media. And that is that I try to avoid all of the hype and all the drama and all the prediction out there in the market. There's so many people acting as if they can predict what's going to happen the next day. And there's just far too many factors. Everyone has to know that there is just far too many factors to be able to do that. So just focus in on the price action of the chart and trade the chart. It's really, it's much easier than you might think if you just focus in on the price action of the chart. And hopefully you find um, these videos to be just a little bit of a breath of fresh air from all the hype and drama um, out there in the market. So let's take a look at some of the stocks that I think are looking pretty good and keep in mind that some of these um, I may be in. So I have a bias and I'll let you know on those. Let's take a look at Box. You guys know that I've mentioned Box several times um, as a potential and I happen to hold this. So once again, I have a bias and we finally got our move. Boy, it took forever, but we finally popped and got our move here on box and it's moving on up um, trying to stretch on out just a little bit more this morning so looking pretty good here on box keep an eye on that might not want to chase it but you could wait for the next entry into that trade take a look at um, NKLA I mentioned NKLA yesterday in the morning prep video and you can see that moved on up yesterday popping through some resistance levels and looking pretty good NKLA showing some strength I would put a target up here around this 21 and a half area um, on that chart. Now you may not want to chase. Um, remember, um, the farther and farther it moves up, the, the more risk you take on that trade. But if this were to rest right in here, kind of slide sideways for a couple of days heading into that trend, that might be a pretty good entry point coming on that chart. Keep an eye on NKLA. You might also want to keep an eye on NIO. I mentioned this one yesterday. Um, in the morning prep video, that one took off and really shot up. Now this one is a little bit more of a problem trying to get into because it moved so far so fast yesterday, making for a high risk entry trade. But let's keep in mind that we will be testing some price resistance here in the chart. Check that out, a little price resistance right there in the chart. So we'll be tr testing that here and it is entirely possible that this could rest right here or even pull back toward that trend and give you another opportunity in the trade. It's also possible that that could just push right on through. Push through, hold support up here, 
and then give you that opportunity into the trade. So keep an eye on NIO, that's looking pretty good. If you've been following, I've been talking about TAN here, and TAN, um, oh my goodness, what's going on here? There we go. There we go. Tan um, looking very good here, moving on up, testing some resistance in the chart. And that has been, that has performed extremely well. Now watch this carefully as we hit this resistance level. Um, we could rest or pull back into the trend here. We could pop on through and then come back into the trend. So I wouldn't want to chase this, but keep an eye on it. TAN has worked out very, very good since I've been mentioning it here in um, the morning prep videos and looking very, very good overall. You might want to keep an eye on some of the cannabis stocks out there. They made an attempt yesterday and then just kind of kind of fizzled just a little bit, but we want to keep in mind that as we test resistance levels in a chart like this, notice that little consolidation coming in here. Now what a consolidation like that tells me, first off, for those of you who follow some technical patterns and things like that, this is a little tiny bit of a cup handle, cup right here, and it's starting to build that handle. So watch this carefully here, we've got that cup, and we're just kind of resting in here. Now what a consolidation like this tells me is there's no buyers above here, but it's also telling me there's no sellers below here. So keep a close eye on that. Overall, we have an upside trend. And notice that if I connect the dots here on the trend, this may have to rest a few more days, but look for that opportunity. If that can hold right in here, that opportunity that that can push on through to the upside. So keep an eye on uh, Crone. You might also want to keep an eye, TLRY, TLRY, pushing up here in the chart. I had that trying to move up here, but now we've flattened that move in here. And you can see we have this resistance level, support level, starting to um, come into play right here in that chart. So once again, as this kind of rests or consolidates over here to trend, watch for that opportunity in TLRY. And you can look at several other of those cannabis stocks and they're looking pretty decent um, overall. Take a look at Fubo. Now Fubo, more of a high volatility play. You gotta be a little bit careful with this, but Fubo holding up nicely here. Notice that we're testing some resistance right here in this chart, right there. We're testing that resistance. We're holding on to a trend here in the chart. Keep an eye on that. We may be resting here up above that support area and that opportunity that that could break that uh, move and push on out. So that's looking pretty good as well. Watch that closely. You guys know that I have been mentioning um, um, uh, space, space um, just like a rocket shot, not no pun intended there, really shot up toward this resistance. Now I think there's a probability of either a pullback or a little consolidation up in here, um, a rest period in that chart. So watch that carefully. You know that they've got to prove for taking man people in or man folks into space. So watch that carefully. If that can hold up here, if we can kind of hold on to this trend, rest a little bit, um, we may be able to push on through and make new highs here in space. So another chart to be keeping an eye on. A little bit speculative, but pretty nice looking chart overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here today. I truly, truly appreciate it. I want to wish you great success in your trading. Be careful. Stay focused. Don't become complacent in case this market does decide to shift but stay with the trends, stay with those nice bullish charts until they, they decide to shift because we have no idea how much longer this, um, this pump into the market can continue. So stay with it as long as you can making that money, but don't become complacent. Y'all take care, have a great day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday. Have a good one.